A friend of mine was invited to a gathering one time where a bunch of rich folk, or high capacity people as they call them, got together to write big checks for charity. Now don't get me wrong, financial capacity can help solve plenty of problems. But we know by now that generosity is about so much more than money. God made us to be complete in Him. We're made in the image of the greatest giver in the universe. We're created for a rich, full-hearted generosity. Financial, physical, emotional, spiritual, relational. All things we are given, we can give to others. And we can help others learn to give them as well. You see, the legacy of your generosity is not just about what you give. It's also about what others give because of the generosity of Christ that they see modeled in you. Think of the widow who gave her two pennies at the temple. She sure wouldn't have been invited to the high capacity luncheon. But Jesus said that she gave more than all the rest because she gave everything she had. And she inspired countless generations to give all they had. What a legacy. The Apostle Paul refers to the people he's invested in as his joy and crown. Who will be your joy and crown? How can you use your gifts to help others achieve their potential? If we're made in the image of the great giver, then helping your brothers and sisters awaken to generosity is helping them become more fully who they were created to be in Christ. That's a significant gift, a true legacy. God's planted a seed of generosity in every one of us. Let's water that seed in ourselves and cultivate the same growth in one another. How can you inspire generosity in the people around you? How can you make yours a more generous family or a more generous church? Remember, you don't have to have a high net worth to have a high capacity.